Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Bowroom. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Thanks so much for all the awesome support on the Bowroom series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So last time we left off, we were looking at possibly making a few arrows. But I started looking into it and it's like one iron ingot and one wood for eight arrows. And we can buy them from uh, the merchant just by doing this. And let's see, they're worth five dollar a piece. So a wood and an iron ingot is worth, let's see. A regular iron bar is worth seventy-five dollar, and one wood is worth one. So eight times five is forty. Yeah, <laughs> basically, simple arrows are cheaper just to buy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy some uh, because we can always sell ingots to get more. We're gonna buy thirty-five. And that's going to give us a good little supply there. And we can always sell these ingots. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have any room right now. Yeah, we could always sell them somewhere else, though. That's fine. Uh, and we do have quite a bit. Or, or will he take them like this? No, it doesn't look like he has room. Not enough space. That's fine. All right. Well, anyway, we did get that done. And it looks like it's approaching nighttime. But... I want to go on to this uh, this ruin, so I'm going to go a little bit closer before we actually go to sleep. Even though it gets a little dark, that's going to be okay. Hopefully we won't, won't run into too much stuff. We have quite a bit of arrows as it is. We have 35 and 43. That's a good amount of arrows for a few fights. At least to explore what these ruins are. Uh oh, this is bad. This is... is this a graveyard? This place is weird. Hmm, there's a trap right there. Oh, there's a skeleton. Level one. Is this the ruins? Mm, yeah, this might be very close to it. Maybe I should kill this skeleton while I can. Let's see. Too far away. All right, I got him. One hit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Extremely dehydrated. We just started, man. I can. Will this take up a turn? That does take up a turn. Did he cast fear on Mousy. He did cast fear on Mousy. That's okay though. He's pretty much dead. Ouch. 22 XP. All right. Skeleton dealt 14 damage to you. An overtime effect. Uh, apparently, it's a bleed. Okay. Let's see here. We have 767. Let's get some water before we go too far in. We'll get. We'll refill at the house too. Okay. What do I have a lot of? Uh, it looks like I could probably get away with a little bit of apples. And let's see. A few bread. That's going to restore some serious health there. 90. Okay, my stomach is full. I'm getting nauseous. Ah, oh, don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. You'll sleep the rest off, okay? No problem. But I still want to get a little bit closer here. What is that? Ah, disease tick. That's dangerous looking. All right. But, I mean, we are around these ruins, so I kind of need to go there. Okay, let's get a little bit closer here try to we got to stay away from him because he can diseases ah oh no 343 damage holy cow 401 this thing is strong okay let's move this out the way for now why can I not move it anywhere close all right at first, it wasn't moving. How's how's Mousy doing? Mousy is doing fine. Thankfully, he took the aggro. Wow. Okay, Mousy's dead, but we can res him. That's no problem. Mousy, your sacrifice was not in vain. Okay. Um, where is it? Let's see. 
Mousy. Resurrect. Yeah, 200 turns. All right, Mousy, stay away from that bad stuff. Let's loot this. We have Tick Fang and some blood. All right, so we, before we go in here, before we go in here, we're going to go to our safe spot here. Uh, let's see. Items. I could hotkey this, you know. That's probably what I should do, is hotkey it. Nice. Okay. I don't know what this does again. Countless times. Sometimes a trinket aids you against your target. Sometimes it does something to you. I'm going to put this in my hot bar because this looks like something I need to use more often. And I rarely use stun. Blinding shot. I don't know, man. Camping. I guess I could just put this on my bar as well. Let's just put it right here. All right. Fair enough. And we'll move this as well to the bottom left once again. Okay. Let's get a good night's sleep. Fill up our water. And we should be pretty good. Also, while I'm here, I think I want to build a smeltery. Let's get the water set up. There we go. All right. Morning. 130% rested. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, where was this... Um, where was the build menu? There we go. Building. And if I go to... Let's see. Those are a couple... That's that's just furniture. We're not worried about that. I could get some storage online, but not quite. I really don't need that yet. Okay. So, we need the smeltery. And where can we put that? Right here. Very good. <clears throat> and we're going to need an alchemy table, too. All right, now we can see everything and reach everything. That works out really well. Okay, good. Um, let's get... Let's make sure we are well hydrated. All right, I'm extremely well hydrated already. Very good. Now, do we have any metal to smelt? I think we do. Uh, yeah, but it's not a whole... Do we have any? No, I don't think we have any iron. We have coal, moonstone, daltium, and gold. Not quite ready yet. But we can put some of this in our storage. Not that I really need to, though. Like, right now, my storage isn't full, so we should be okay. I'm surprised I didn't heal that much yet. Uh, am I hungry at all? Probably. I could probably stand for a little bit of food. Let's see. I can... Yeah, let's do... 30 health is up. Okay, I got a full belly now. We could cook a little bit. Uh, because I do have some stuff. Let's see. I have... Where's my materials? I have plenty of wood to start the cooking. And I have some raw deer meat that I had got off camera. Just a little bit. Also, I got plenty of flour here to make some dough. Kind of saving some of my resources in hopes that I get some recipes soon. <laughs> Half baked deer meat. And deer meat. There we go. Baked deer meat. Alright, that's pretty good. So I got baked deer meat twice now. Yep, we should be good. Alright. I'm not gonna worry about cooking my um my dough right now, because we got plenty. Alright. Let's go back to where we were. Um yep. Safe place rune. Okay, now, autosave is done, but I'm going to save anyway, just to make sure. Alright, let's go in. These are the ruins. Something is... Wait, was something in my backpack? Yep, there sure was. Alright, the air is heavy down here. I can hear rats nearby. What is going on here? Okay, so there's something shooting... What is going on here? Okay, there's some rats. Giant rats. Mousy is 665, 686. Pretty much the same type of creature here. Man, there seems to be a lot of traps. I don't even know how this is going to work. Um, hmm. Maybe we just have to avoid it, huh? 
Either that or I have to do something individual to these. It does look like I can turn them. Ouch, 942 damage. Did I take some? No, I didn't. It just looked like that. Oh, okay, I see. Um, ouch, I did take that much damage. Holy cow. All right, hold on. So I can move these, but... Oh, okay, I see. I can move them anywhere I want. Oop, nope. I gotta be careful here. I can move them, but I don't know what happens. Okay, let's just wait to see what we need to do here. Let's go around the outside. I have no idea how this is going to work. There's no way I could get to that chest without deactivating these. I assume we're going to have to get... Let's see. If I can move this stone all the way down... What happens if... I don't really know how this works, you guys. I don't. Does that actually stop it? What about that? Okay, that goes that away. So, are there any arrows that make this point another way? That's what I'd like to find out. Let's go down a little bit. That's weird. Okay, there's also a frost spider right here. I gotta be really, really careful. Where is, um... Uh-oh. Did Mousy die? Mousy did die. Resurrect. Okay, Mousy. We got, we got something that we need to kill, buddy. Uh-oh, he teleported. No melee ability. Okay. He's hitting us pretty hard, but we're hitting him pretty hard, too. Nice. 27 points of damage. Not too bad. I mean, 27 XP. 27 points of damage. I think I took more than that. Okay. So. Can we change this... What's weird is they only point one way. See, this one points a different way. Can we get through here? What did I just attack? I cannot go there. Hmm. I cannot go there, it says. Okay. I don't know what... I don't know what to do here. I really don't. It doesn't look like I could go anywhere in here. It looks like I could search these. Speed potion, random teleport potion. That does sound fun. But no, this is not what I need. What I need is... I guess... Okay, this is what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to try to move this down. How about that? Okay, that still goes there. Alright, that moves down here. This is not going to reflect it any other way, I don't think. It's worth a try, though. Oh, Mousy just died again. Dang it, Mousy! Okay, so now we need to move this. Okay. Here we go. Now we're onto something.
Okay. One more. All right, that's going to open that up. Very good. So, now that we're into the second place, let's continue. <gasps> Ouch. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, we heal really, really fast, though. I guess as long as we're fed, we heal pretty fast. All right, so this is going that way. I think we're safe to go a little bit further in and look around here. So what we would have to do is take another arrow. Let's see, what is this stone, by the way? Let's see if we could do something here. Doesn't look like it. How do we get here then? No, I can't get in there. Maybe it's something to do with the light. Maybe it has to touch this rune stone or something. Ah, I really don't know, you guys. I really don't know how this works. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to troubleshoot it. So, there is something right here. Huh. Alright, let's see here. We have a couple other rocks. We know we'll need to get it out of that hole. So let's point it... First of all, let's get it a little bit closer this way. And let's move it in that crevice over here. Okay. I gotta be really careful right here. One more, I think. Okay, so I got that going the right way now. All right, get out of the way. We don't want it to kill us. Okay, now I gotta come back here and move it this way again. I'm gonna have to move this one down, I think. Let's move this one one more. Okay, now it's ricochet in the correct way. One more. Wait, let me get. No. Oh, oh. Okay, it's ricocheting the right way again. Now. One more. This way. No, it has to come down by one more. There we go. Okay. <sighs> we got it open. Very good. All right. Now it's just to get in there without getting killed. Almost <laughs> almost messed it up again. There's a person here? Is that a person? Hooded figure. You see a dark hooded figure. He appears to be alive. The figure slowly looks at me. He seems to be fairly young. I wonder how long he's been down here. He doesn't make a sound and continues to stare right in my eyes. Who are you? How long have you been down here? My mission was to clear this cave. My commander told me that the witches carved out these caves with their bare hands. As I got down, it became obvious that he was lying. This cave has been properly designed and built by people who knew what they were doing. The wild witches could have not built it. I think it was some sort of training facility for them. Do you need any help? What happened? It's been so long. They cursed me, you know. For years I thought that I died, but then... How could I be speaking to you? I cannot talk about my mission, but I can tell you that I failed. Did we succeed? Are the woods cleansed? I don't know. I... It doesn't matter. I have to accept my fate. You should accept your fate too. What do you mean? He's gone. Okay, weird. Uh, forget crime scroll. Don't mind if I do. Those things are super valuable. Gold bars. Yes. Ooh, hardened leather gloves and a chain cap. I think we need a higher strength to use some of those, though. Uh, we could use this. Requires base dexterity 3. Let's see. Armor. Modifies armor by 3. Modifies armor by 3. Pretty much the same thing. And as far as the helmet, we need a base strength of 3. Wow. Modifies armors by 7. 
this is going to be pretty nice when we have the ability to use it. Okay, so exactly what do we do to get out of here without dying here? Let's see. Okay, we're out of that. Now, I don't see a way to get there, though. I do not see a way. I mean, we could get speed potion? That seems so fast, man. It really does. Okay, maybe we can do Maybe we can try it. If I save properly and stuff, it'll be alright. There isn't any secret passages that I can see. You know? Alright. Let's see. Okay. So far, so good. I wonder if we can block. Ah, that's exactly what we have to do, you guys. So, I think I know what to do now. Let's see here. Okay, I got out of there all right. So let's do this, okay? Let's take this block and move it down. All right, so this is basically just going to stop it. Now, we can take this and push this in the way of the fireballs. And if my calculations are correct, this should stop the fireballs. Can we push it any further? Yeah. Okay, let's do it right here. Sure enough. Ha ha ha! I know what I'm doing. See? This ain't my first RPG puzzle. I know exactly what's happening. Alright, let's move this one further. This is a lot of blocks to move around. One block at a time. <laughs> I think I'm going to move all of these guys because the video is dragging on a little bit too long and I want y'all to see what's in the chest, so BRB. Alright guys, I lined them all up so the fireballs aren't hitting anymore and I can access the chest from the ankle. So this is what we got. Rusty Greaves. Rusty Armor 0 out of 6. So this is some sort of set item. Set bonus with 6 items. Modifies Vitality by 2 and Strength by 3. Very cool. Uh, with 3 items, Vitality by 1, Strength by 2. Okay, we'll definitely take those. Rusty Gloves. Nice. Worn Robes. So, and how much? 225 dollar. Very nice. That was definitely worth it. So, can we equip these yet? We sure can. And rusty gloves. Alright, so we got two out of the six rusty items, I guess. That's pretty neat. So, this was definitely worth it. Let me go ahead and save this just to make sure. Because <laughs> that took quite a little while to do but it was definitely worth it let's check these bookcases I had died accidentally uh, <laughs> well of course it was accidentally but yeah I died because rotten dish no I, I shouldn't even took that other rotten food where is that rotten melons no uh, drop the item to the ground yes I did not want to access that uh, rotten potatoes coffee beans yeah we'll definitely take those there's some in this barrel, empty glasses and empty mugs. So all of these, all of these little debris piles can be looked at. Night, my nightmare berries. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I uh, actually went back in. Ooh, brain purge scroll and preparation scroll. Very nice. Yeah, I had died, so I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally died. So I had to do a lot of my progress over again. So I'm just making sure I did not miss anything here. Uh, I did not kill the frost spider. I figured that we'd just save the arrows because, uh-oh, it attacked. Never mind. Um, Mousy. Assist master is on. Okay. Is, he, is it just going to stay here? Mousy, are you coming to help me? Let's do it, Mousy. 541. Oh my god, I only have 39 health left. Um, I do have some potions. This will give me 350 health. I'm gonna do it. Or I could use random teleport. D didn't I have a potion of like random teleport? I'm gonna use it. Alright. That got me out of that bind, you guys. Wow. Okay. Let's use a heal potion. Let's use another heal potion. And another heal potion. No, I cannot drink potions. Okay. Got enough. How about 
the food items. We did get some food that gives us a lot of health, right? 30, not a lot, but 35 health, big deer meat. Sapphire spiders right there. Okay. How are we going to do this? Let's use blinding. Blinding shot. Is it blind yet? I think so. <laughs> Alright, Mousy. Get in there, boy. Or I could do all the work myself. However you think, Mousy. Okay. <laughs> Dang, man. I could just press E to take all, too. Alright, well... The frost spider ended up attacking me. I went around that dang spider like three or four times with no problems. I don't know. Speed potion, that's pretty good. Another speed potion, random teleport potions. Those saved my butt a second ago. And I can mine stone in here? How wild. Alright. Well, I think that's it. I think that's all with the dungeon, you guys. Good. Well, the ruins are explored and conquered. Now, as far as my quest goes, let's see here. I have a feeling that I can get into the underground place from another location. I'm gonna have to look around. I'm sure I would find something down there that would explain why Hugo died. Huh. So I'm gonna have to look around. There might be another well that I can enter. And I need to go back to Arda. But that is going to be next episode, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button and show your support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.